Hiya guys, welcome back to the channel. Specky Bar Stewart here. Today we are in Glasgow's St. Eric Centre. Um, this afternoon we are going for a bite to eat. We are going to a buffet place. It's called Cosmo. Now, I've been to this Cosmo just over the back of my shoulder here, um, which I'll show you in just a moment. Um, I've been here about four or five years ago and I was extremely disappointed. I got in about half past three in the afternoon. Um, they said we're finishing at four o'clock. We're changing our menu over for the dinner time menu. I says to them, well, we'll hang off for the dinner time menu or the tea time menu, whatever you call it, wherever you live in the UK. Um, so myself and my wife at that time, with the baby in the pram, uh, we had a look around the shops and we came back for the start of the tea time menu. Now, if I could have put in a claim at that time or I was recording food at that time, um, I would have definitely recorded it. Chicken, all the meat, everything was hard. Um, the chicken was actually that tough, it tasted like rubber. Um, the guy had apologised to me and says, listen, money's not a problem, I'll pay for it. Um, but that was really, really substandard. Um, yeah, the chicken would have broken your teeth if I had butt hard onto it. Um, it was like completely overcooked, he said. The food had been out all day, we'd left it out, um, we didn't want it going to waste. But again, you can't be putting food out like that. But I've been to Cosmo in Edinburgh many, many years ago when my ex-wife now uh, was my girlfriend. Um, she took me. And it was unbelievable. It was absolutely delicious. Um, the place was absolutely ram-packed. So I've decided to come today just before it opens. So when we get in, the food can only be fresh. Um, I've decided to give it a second chance. Let's go and join the queue. Come on, this way. So yeah guys, just before we go into Cosmo, um, these um, escalators here, this is for the View Cinema in Glasgow. Um, this is where I take my daughter. Um, she absolutely loves it here. Um, just thought I'd let you know that. But it's right next to Cosmo, over the back of my shoulder. Um, let me tell you, I think Cosmo is looking good in regards to a kid's menu. If you've got a child under the age of five, they can eat for £2.99. I think that's really good value for money. Um, don't get me wrong, lunchtime menu is still £15.99. Um, but let's see, let's see if it is worth the lunchtime price of £15.99. So come on, we'll go in just now.
expensive. Um, if I do say so myself, especially for a lunchtime menu, um, loads of Indian, loads of live cooking, loads of dessert, loads of Chinese, Italian. Um, I went up and got um, a plate of food now. I try and avoid Chinese food due to the MSG content. However, I'm off the back of a 20 hour fast and I really, I really fancied them um, some chicken and black bean sauce and some Hong Kong noodles. They look absolutely delicious. Now I've got myself a plate, not a huge plate, but enough um, to give it a go. So take a closer look at it. So yeah, that's the chicken and black bean, um, some Hong Kong noodle and a couple of prawn crackers. Um, I'm not going wild today, I'm not going to be sampling all the food. Um, the noodles are probably, that and the prawn crackers are probably the only carb I'm going to have today. Um, I'm here to sample the meat due to the bad experience the last time. But you know what, before I even sample this food, I think it's going to be good. The chicken and black bean look unbelievable up there. So yeah, I'm going to tuck in and give it a go just now. I do apologise about not using my left hand and my fork, guys. <laughs> um, hand's not working great just now. Um, yeah, but we're here for the food. Not my sob story. Wow. Chicken super tender. The sauce is really garlicky, um, with a slight sweetness to it, and um, very nice indeed. The fine noodles, um, the lovely and soft. I'll be honest with you, maybe not. Not much flavour to them, but they're okay. Um, I'm going to tuck into this just now, guys, and then I'll come back to you when I've got some more food. So I will speak to you soon. So guys, I've been back up again. Um, I've got two Indian curries this time. Um, no rice, no naan. Just <coughs> two chicken meats um, to give them a go. So I've got chicken masala, not tikka masala, just chicken masala. And I've got chicken dopiaza. Um, take a closer look. So here we have the dopiaza. We'll give that a go. Yeah, very nice, very, very flavoursome, got a little kick to it, um, yeah, lovely. Let's give the chicken masala a try. Again, very flavoursome. That's also got a little kick to it as well. Yeah. <coughs> oh yeah, that's got more than a little kick to it. 
So I'm going to finish these curries off, guys, and we'll go and we'll see if there is anything else I want to try. Um, at the end, the full review will be done at home. Don't want to give too much away right now, but yeah, it's all right. So guys, I ate those two little bits of chicken curry um, and I went back up to see if there was any other kind of meats that I wanted to try um, and because the chicken and black bean was tasty I thought I would give the Chinese beef and black bean a go. Um, this is it here. Now I also got a little drop of kind of like a thicker noodle. Again, not really much flavour to the, the noodles at all. But the, the beef and black bean is pretty tasty. I'm surprised that I'm actually saying Chinese is tasty because I, I don't eat it due to the high MSG content. It is what it is. Take a wee look at it. I'm going to eat the chicken and black bean. Um, I'm not eating the noodles, sadly. Um, don't even know if I'm going to finish it, to be honest with you. But yeah, like I said, we'll save the review till I get home. I spoke to a staff member, and she said you can't leave without trying dessert. So, go, oh, pardon me, go on then. I'm going to eat the sandwich. It's all part of the experience, isn't it? Get the hiccups now, this is what MSG does to me. So yeah, that beef and white bean was tasty. Uh, I don't mind the al dente veg. But yeah, maybe the veg is just a little bit too hard for my liking. Noodles. No. Yes, finished. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we'll leave the review to I go home. But yeah, do you know what? See for you guys, I'm going to have a dessert. Let's do this. Chocolate fountain, cakes, ice cream, popcorn, fruit, they've got everything. I'm definitely getting ice cream and I'm definitely getting chocolate from the chocolate fountain. We'll see what else they've got. What a fancy. And I'll show you guys when I come back. Okay, see you in two minutes. So guys, I've got a lot of dessert in my opinion. I have got Irish coffee cake, Irish coffee cheesecake should I say. Um, banana toffee sponge, um, some banana custard, and I've got ice cream and I've poured some chocolate over over it from the chocolate fountain. Now the chocolate has solidified already. The reason for this is, is I was walking up and down the place, couldn't find the spoons. Eventually I found the spoons. So they're not near the desserts. You need to walk halfway up the hall to get them. So yeah, the ice cream has solidified now. Take a closer look. So yeah, let's give the desserts a try. We'll go for the Irish 
the ice cream cheesecake. Wow, that's delicious. Banana and toffee cake. It's very yellow, isn't it? That is probably my favourite thing of the day. That is delicious. Banana and custard. It's tasty. That is tasty actually. Let's give the ice cream a go. Yeah, the ice cream's fine. I can't get into the chocolate, it's solid now. <laughs> so I'm going to tuck into this, guys. Now I'll catch up with you when I'm finished. So there you have it guys, Cosmo, Glasgow, St Enoch Centre, I'm going to head home and we'll, we'll do the review in the house, um, I'll reserve judgement until then, some good, some not so good but yeah, stay with me guys, I'll see you when I get home, okay, see you soon. So guys, there you have it. That was Cosmo in St Enoch Centre in Glasgow City Centre. Now, I'm glad you've stuck with me um, until I've got home to give you an honest review. It's a bit of a mixed bag for me. Let's start with the main courses. I was the first person in the queue waiting to go in. <coughs> All the food, as you could see, was presented lovely. Um, there was a vast array of food as well for £15.99. That was the price. I had water with it. Um, I wasn't paying nearly a fiver for a drink. Not that I was being miserable, but it was the food I was there to sample, not the carbonated drinks. So, I got chicken do piazza, um, I can't remember what the second one was, chicken and something. Um, I got the Chinese chicken and black bean sauce, beef and black bean sauce. I think it was chicken madras or um, chicken masala. I think it was called, not chicken tikka masala. Um, they were all flavoursome in their own right. The chicken and black bean and the beef and black bean, they were probably the tastiest. But I'll be brutally honest with you. My stomach's not coping very well. Um, I prefer Indian or Asian food, um, whatever you want to call it. I know China's in Asia, but we call that Chinese in the UK. I don't tend to refer to that as Asian food, but Indian food, let's call it. I prefer that to Chinese. Um, when I see Chinese food, everything all just looks yellow. And what I mean by that is just highly processed, 
carbohydrate, covered in batter, phyllo pastry, all that kind of thing. Everything all looks the same and tastes the same. There or thereabouts. Um, another reason I'd water as well is, is sometimes these places can be overly salty. Um, the Indian curries, the chicken was freezing cold and outside. The place had just opened, I'm not going to lie. Didn't want to put anybody off through the start of the vlog by mentioning that. But the internal temperature of the chicken was okay. Um, as you can see from my kind of like panning around the food, a lot of the serving trays were up. Um, I don't know what for. But the chicken was lovely and tender and soft. But I think the Indian curries just tasted the same, if I'm perfectly, perfectly honest with you. Um, they all had a bit of a sharp kick. Um, the sauces were very watery. A dopey piazza to me um, is a curry that has a lot of fine peppers and onion and stuff through it, which that didn't. It just had kind of mixed peppers. The peppers were solid as well. I think they'd just shown them to the to the heat. Um, they weren't soft or just slightly al dente. Um, the fine noodles, which would be like a fine noodle, kind of chow mein noodle, and the kind of thicker noodle that you get in some kind of chow mains were completely tasteless. Um, not going to lie, they weren't good at all. Going on to the desserts. The desserts were the star of the show. The banana and toffee, I want to say it was. So that was a little kind of cubed yellow, yellow and white cake. That was delicious. The ice cream was delicious as well. Um, the banana and custard was delicious. The Irish cream cheesecake wasn't really like a cheesecake. It was quite gelatinous, but that was delicious as well. I can't fault the desserts. The desserts were tasty. Um, although the two cakes had the, the, the same kind of, kind of texture. It was quite unusual, but slightly different. Tastes, and I want to say the tastes were, um, I don't know, they could have been like food colourings or something in them because they were super enhanced, it wasn't like a natural flavour. Um, then they had a little robot going about, waking clean plates and stuff in the back, it was avoiding people. The ambience of the place, it was absolutely rammed, it was really busy for a midweek lunch. Um, the big back wall was like a cinema uh, a big cinema screen projecting onto the back wall. Toilets were spotless. The girl who took me to my table, super friendly, so a big massive thumbs up to you. Service was great and she um, she took my money off me at my end, at the end. I think, before I give it a score, guys, I'll explain to you. I don't think buffet places are for me. Um, I don't think the food's made with the same kind of love and attention as it, uh, as it is. You know, in restaurants where you're getting the meals put down to you. So for that reason, I am going to score it a 5 out of 10. 5 is probably being overly generous. Chicken, the chicken should not be kind of look warm, kind of cold on the outside. I don't care what anybody says, the place had just opened their doors. It was 12.30. I was the first person in. Staff were good, desserts were good, main courses, nah, I really didn't appreciate it at all. Visually, the place looked brilliant, but yeah, Cosmo, I'm sorry, you know, he's a probably a really busy place, he's a probably got loads of people that love you, I'm just one of the percentage that I just, I don't... I'm going to need to compare other buffet places so that I can offer my overall critique. But I remember one year, many years ago, going on a, an all-inclusive holiday um, to a lovely hotel and you were serving yourself every night. That was part of the reason why I don't like buffets. I like my, my food getting put down to me. Um, but the quality just wasn't there. It wasn't at all. And sixteen ninety nine is a lot of money. If you were to break it down, let's say you had a starter, a main course, and a dessert. I think it's a lot of money for what you're getting. Yes, they might have an array of things, so much to choose from, but the quality of them just isn't there. Um, if, you, if you prefer quantity over quality, 
it's the place for you. If you're somebody who prefers quality over quantity, it's not the place for you. And I'm quality over quantity. Um, I would ha rather have a little bit of something that costs a bit of money than a big bit of something that's kind of middle of the road priced. But yeah, Cosmo, Glasgow City Nook Centre. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having lovely staff. Thanks for having nice desserts. But the food is just not for me. So guys, until the next one, stay safe. Take care. Be kind. And remember, <laughs> if you can't be good, be good at it. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.